everyone, it's Corey McCarthy, and thank you for tuning in. As the title says, this is not clickbait, but it also may not be what you're thinking. But you can draw your own conclusions after hearing me out. But before I begin, I just wanted to thank everyone for their interaction with my last video. That video marked the first time in a while where I managed to break 1,000 views in the first couple of days after a release. Ever since YouTube recently began suppressing my content harder than they ever had before, as I showed evidence for in my last video, my channel's performance has taken a massive hit and the growth has all but stagnated. So thank you all for your support and let's see if we can repeat that or even surpass that success going forward. Let's see if we can get this channel growing again. Now, as some of you are likely aware, I'm on the wrong side of 35, but the right side of 40, at least for now. Uh, and as we age, our bodies inevitably go through many changes. Since my early 30s, I've been taking exogenous DHEA, uh, which is a hormone produced by our adrenal glands uh, that is quite abundant in our bodies during our 20s. I've become more consistent with my DHEA supplementation since my mid-30s. At the moment, I take uh, 25 milligrams orally every day using a product that I've purchased on Amazon. So yes, DHEA is available over the counter here in America. Uh, no doctor prescription is necessary. It's 100% legal. And for the record, DHEA supplements are synthesized from wild yam or soy, so yes, they're vegan. Unless, of course, they're administered in gelatin capsules, that would obviously not be vegan. Ergo, I advise folks to always check labels and even contact a given company for clarification. According to Harvard, DHEA levels naturally peak in men and women between 20 and 30 years of age, after which DHEA declines by about 5% each year and up to 80% throughout adulthood. Which means that my natural DHEA production may currently be nearly 45% lower than it was when I was 30. Uh, granted, I've never tested my levels, so I am just going by the average rate of decline. According to the Mayo Clinic, low DHEA levels can contribute to depression and osteoporosis. It's also theorized that low DHEA levels could speed up the aging process and have a negative impact on a person's well-being, cognitive function, and body composition. Furthermore, low DHEA levels are also associated with heart disease and overall mortality. Granted, the data demonstrating any benefits from DHEA supplementation is limited and its use is not without potential risks though none of those documented risks appear to apply to me and my lifestyle. I am telling you this because I don't want you to think I am endorsing DHEA uh, for absolutely everyone. I just want to be transparent about what I do and offer you some education on the subject and to leave you to make your own informed choices from there. According to the Mayo Clinic, the side effects from DHEA use may include increased androgen levels leading to a steroid effect. Now, I will discuss that one in detail momentarily as I feel that the Mayo Clinic is being a bit hyperbolic in that regard. DHEA use may also exacerbate particular hormone-sensitive cancer such as prostate cancer in men, which I do not have. It is also recommended that you avoid using DHEA if you suffer from high cholesterol, which I do not and haven't since I dropped eggs when going vegan in 2013. DHEA use might also worsen psychiatric disorders such as mania, which I do not have. Finally, DHEA use might cause oily skin, acne, and male pattern baldness, none of which has ever been an issue for me. DHEA may also interact with the drugs listed here, none of which I take. In fact, the last time I took an antidepressant was before I turned 21. So for me, the potential benefits outweigh any possible risks, even if the data is limited, as I had mentioned. Plus, DHEA is rather cheap. I spend just shy of $7 for over three months' worth of the product. Now, regarding increased androgen levels and subsequent steroidal effects... A double-blind, randomized order crossover design study published in 2018 in the peer-reviewed journal Endocrine found that after four weeks of DHEA supplementation at 100 milligrams per day, which is a dose four times higher than what I take, Male participants experienced a 118% increase in their testosterone levels. The female participants, on the other hand, experienced a 916% increase. Though it is worth noting that all of the women involved in this study were also using oral contraceptives. All participants were healthy, young, recreational athletes aged 20 to 21 years on average. That study was funded by the World Anti-Doping Agency. 
which has DHEA on their banned list, so I am technically not WADA compliant given my use, but at the same time, I don't compete in any WADA regulated sports. I strictly lift for health, functionality, fun, and to look and feel good. Now, while a 118% increase in testosterone is certainly very significant, it isn't likely to give a man steroid-like gains in muscle mass or strength. A paper published in 2003, which I've discussed in a previous video, found that simply abstaining from ejaculation for seven days can cause a man's testosterone levels to increase by 145.7% above baseline. Which is a nearly 28% greater increase than DHEA has been shown to produce, yet I am certain that both NoFap and abstinence are both WADA compliant activities. Like I doubt that priests would be banned from weightlifting competitions simply because they're staunch Volcells. Know what I'm saying? So no, my taking 25 milligrams of DHEA per day is not comparable to me directly pinning some form of testosterone. Thus, I stand by my gains being achievable naturally, even if WADA would disqualify me for my DHEA use, uh, which is four times lower than what was dosed in their study. But ultimately, I am more concerned about my present and future health and quality of life than complying with WADA as a purely recreational lifter. Now, let's look at some of the data from older populations. A meta-analysis looking at 25 double-blind, placebo-controlled, randomized trials found that DHEA supplementation in elderly men can induce a small but significant positive effect on body composition via a reduction in body fat. And another randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled study found that DHEA supplementation appears to have a beneficial effect on muscle and strength increases from heavy weight training in the elderly. Furthermore, another study found that by taking just 25 milligrams of DHEA per day over the course of a year, cortisol levels were lowered in both men and women aged from 50 to 65 years, with this effect being most prominent in the women. And yet another study, this time on 410 65 to 92 year old men, found that by maintaining healthy DHEA levels along with testosterone and IGF-1, longevity can be optimized. Finally, in a study of 55 to 70 year old women, the application of a DHEA cream for a period of four months stopped their skin from aging and even reversed some of the signs of aging. Granted, that study looked at the effects of a topical cream, not a pill or some other form of supplement, but I thought it was interesting nonetheless. And while I'm certainly not elderly, at least not for another 30 years, I'm at an age where DHEA levels are naturally declining, so I figure, why not? I feel that the benefits of DHEA use outweigh any potential risks, at least for my body and the stage that I am at in my life. Those papers are just scratching the surface. There are plenty more when you search DHEA and PubMed on Google, but I don't want to be filming all day, you know? Now, just to be clear, I've never taken any forms of testosterone, growth hormone, thyroid drugs, etc. So DHEA is the extent of my hormone supplementation. Uh, nor am I on or considering getting testosterone replacement therapy. I simply do not need it, and hopefully I never will. Uh, but as I've said before, if I do ever end up deficient in the big T, uh, I will hop on TRT. I see no shame in that, and it will be completely monitored by a doctor. And I've done a comprehensive research-based video on aging, testosterone, muscle loss, etc. And it really doesn't appear to be a problem for your average guy, barring specific medical conditions or poor lifestyle choices, of course. I highly recommend that video for guys who are feeling depressed about getting older and worried about their hormone levels, gains, and sex life. Uh, many guys might not ever need TRT. We just need to pursue healthy lifestyle habits uh, while we're younger and maintain those into our golden years. I made this video because people have constantly asked me if I'm a natural, so I wanted to put this out there for the sake of transparency. At this point, you all can form your own opinions as people inevitably do. Anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below and don't forget to like and share this video if you found it interesting. Uh, your interaction truly helps this channel and this video will no doubt be demonetized and deranked, giving the discussions related to drugs and hormones. 
Also, don't forget to hit subscribe if you have not already and press the bell button for notifications and check back here weekly as all three avenues will ensure that you do not miss any new content from me. Furthermore, check out the video description for links to my products and services, as well as my affiliate links such as Amazon and my Patreon and Subscribestar pages, and other ways that you can show your support to me and my channel if you genuinely enjoy and get use from what I provide here. That support means a whole lot. And that includes picking up any one of my science-based training and nutrition ebooks that I offer, which can help you get results like those seen on my clients pictured here. And don't forget to check out my latest ebook, the right to bear arms, which will attack your guns in a strategic and scientifically sound manner with the potential to double their growth over the course of 12 weeks compared to a more conventional training approach as supported by human research. That ebook as well as the others are all linked below in the description. Thank you all for your support and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. <laughs>